you would be considered a gig worker. If you're working for somebody else, if you're basically contract for hire. Uh, and by the way, there's nothing wrong with this. If that's what you want to do, if you want to work for YouTube or Twitch or a publication and you want to create content for them ongoing and they're going to pay you to do it on a certain platform, but you probably aren't building your own audience that you have control over over time. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But for example, YouTube, let's say you build a million subscribers on YouTube. Whose subscribers are those? They're not yours. They're YouTube's. YouTube's letting you borrow them. Now, can you monetize those in other ways over time? That's the decision you have to make because you're building your, uh, you're building your platform on rented land. What we want to do is move it over to something owned, something more controlled. So I don't have a problem with that, but I would consider more of that a hobby as a gig worker. What I want to do if I'm a content creator, ultimately, I want to build my own platform, my own website, uh, my own email newsletter, uh, my own assets, my own data that I can monetize over time. Because if you don't have access to the data, so just ask yourself this question. If you don't have access to the data and the subscribers, long term, do you have a business that you can monetize? The answer is probably not. You could. I mean, that's why I see a lot of my friends that were really successful at YouTube. They're concerned because YouTube's changing the algorithm. They change the rules all the time. So they're trying to figure out how do I move my subscribers on YouTube over to email subscribers so that I can actually have a direct connection with them. So that's, I am not, by the way, loves the creator programs, love what Twitch and, and Amazon and Google and, and YouTube are doing. But you've got to be careful as a content creator where you have to think, okay, if I want to be a content entrepreneur, that means I need to build a sustainable business over a long period of time. Can you do that when you're, this is rude, in the pocket of a YouTube or an Amazon or a Twitch? I, I don't know.